Changing a community can come in many different forms, and the students at a ballet class in Farmington Hills say their teacher is doing it, one of the oldest dance forms of all time. Alicia Smith introduces us to our Detroit 2020 Person of the Week. You wouldn't normally think of dance as therapy, but one ballet teacher is proving that it can improve the body, the spirit, and the community, one student at a time. Hold on the side. One, two, three, four. I danced Five, professionally six, until I was 32 years old. Hold. For Christina Kamler, life, dance, students, and family are almost impossible to separate. After I had my daughter, I decided to stop dancing professionally, and I was looking for a job. Keep the leg light. That's when a dance substitute teaching job turned into a new purpose. On the way, I was thinking, oh my God, you know, I am a, like a professional dancer, and I'm going to teach adults. But after this first day that I taught these adults, I absolutely fell in love with it. They were interested. They ask questions they want to repeat. I figured that, okay, if these people want to learn, I want to teach. Over the years, Christina's Farmington Hills studio has managed to grow and build a community of adult dancers, united in movement and becoming a family along the way. The age range is from 14 years old to 80. When I first came, I didn't feel like, you know, I was an outsider. I felt very, like, embraced. This lady that started with me seven or eight years ago at the age of 65 then, she's 73 now? Okay. Ballet doesn't see age. Especially in here, everybody comes to work and do whatever they can do the best they can do. For Melissa Rona, who suffers from epilepsy, ballet is both therapeutic and a challenge. And it's Christina's class and fellow students that have helped the 19-year-old stretch her talent into a professional dance career. This has really become like a second home. I'm here four or five days a week, and it's the first studio that's ever really felt safe. For some in the school, the mission may be to become a world-class dancer. She brings out the best in you, both as a person and a dancer. While for others, it may just be to just keep dancing. For Christina Camillar, the mission is clear. I really want these people to learn. I really want them to be happy. And that's why Christina Camillar is our Detroit 2020 Person of the Week. Now, if you know of someone making a difference in your community, we want to tell their story. You can nominate them by emailing person of the week at WXYZ.com. I'm Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Passing on that treasure that is beautiful. Incredible stuff. There's